What's good everybody? My name is Landmark and welcome back to the channel. This week's video is a little different. Uh, my grandmother passed away earlier this week and uh, she'd be upset actually that I'm talking about it just because she's just that kind of a humble person. But uh, yeah, so the music I made uh, this week was just inspired by her. So this track that uh, I'm getting ready to show you guys is um, inspired by her and dedicated to her. The musical influence that she had in my life is uh, she loved jazz music and she passed that on to my dad. My dad loves jazz music and that kind of inspires some of the music that I make today. I grew up all over the world but jazz was a really prominent uh, influence in my life because my dad listened to it all the time. So this song uh, just kind of has a little bit of that influence from her. I made an album called From the Soul uh, that's dedicated to my dad and my grandmother um, that I made a couple of years ago um, that just kind of showcased that jazz influence and it's kind of like a um, um, lo-fi, hip-hop, jazz-ish type of album. So I made that a couple of years ago and that was inspired by my, my dad and my grandmother's love of jazz music. And so this is kind of along the same line if you've heard any of uh, that album from the soul. It's on Spotify, Apple Music, all that other stuff. If you've heard any of that, then you kind of understand like what you're getting ready to see. So yeah, this song uh, is dedicated to my grandmother, inspired by her. Grandma B, I love you. I'll see you soon. And without further ado, y'all know what it is. Let's go. So I started off with trying to come up with a chord progression that was solemn for this moment and uh, that spoke to me. So I think I had a uh, nice progression going and I just wanted to play along with it. So it seemed kind of fitting. Uh, so I decided to move on to the drums, which I don't normally do, but uh, yeah, it's feeling the move for it. So looking for a couple of loops to add to start the process. nice little drum loop going, I'm gonna quantize it. And I'll clean up the volumes and stuff later, but I just wanted to get a feel for how I wanted it to go. And here, so I wasn't really happy with that chord progression, so I'm just playing around with different progressions and seeing what I feel fits right for this song. Yeah, it, it took a while, it took, I don't know how long, but it took me into the next day, and this is what I ended up with.
So I decided that I needed to add some uh, vocal samples in there. So I'm just browsing Splice, trying to figure out like what I need to fit in there vocally. And I had a couple of ideas for certain things. It's in the key of F minor. So I was just browsing F minor stuff. Oh, it's from Scintilla Sample Pack. This is from uh, Doughboys. That's why it's fire. <laughs> I need you here, always near, my dear. So that seemed like the right choice right there. Just, it was, the lyrics are so fitting. Baseline. So now I'm looking for transition pieces. I'm browsing Splice again because I have like a thousand credits. This was a piano sample that I felt like I needed to add to the beginning to kind of bring in the rest of the song. So that took me into the next day and I downloaded a bunch of different things from Splice to kind of build the transitions back and forth into the track and uh, got a bunch of stuff here. Some nice little horn section, transition pieces to kind of build the song out. You see, I have all my scenes laid out. So you'll hear some of these transitions right now. Okay, so I think this is about finished. There's a section right here where I want to add a audio clip of some sort uh, from my grandma. I don't, I don't have it yet, but family has a bunch of videos and stuff, so I'll probably try to pull some audio to go right in the transition into uh, the beginning of this section right here. Um, but for now, this is a uh, completed project. My grandma's name was Willie B. So uh yeah this is this is for her <laughs> 